Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? This is Reese, or Brush Ed Cub, and I have a lot to show you guys here in our Hexit Let's Play world. Basically, I've been having some trouble on here. I've got to admit, I've never had so much trouble trying to record a series in my life. You know, episode two was Crash-tastic. Well, the last couple episodes, what was supposed to be episode, I guess, four and five, well, let's, let's look at them in flashback. Uh, first off, let me explain. The, the fourth one I recorded, and I forgot to record the audio, so I was like, well, I'll do it in flashback. And I recorded the fifth one, and uh, I did record the audio, except the, the power went out, and the file got corrupted. And so, let's flashback and look at all the things I would have done had those things not happened. So the first thing I wanted to do was go ahead and build a Chocopedia so I could find out more about my Chocobo and actually name it. As it turns out, we had almost everything we need except for an ink sack. While searching for an ink sack, I found two more Chocobos. So, yay! Oh, and then I actually found squids and got ink sacks, which was good. Then I returned home, and as you can see, it was raining, obviously. I made the Chocopedia. Then I went downstairs and I named my chocobo, which happened to be a female, Ambrosia, because that's a great name for a female chocobo. Then realizing that I would eventually need a male chocobo, I went out and found the other one that we found earlier, uh, decided Mog's Mount was a horrible name, and named him Alfred. Alfred Featherface. Me and Alfred then took a little cruise to find some sheep to get some wool to build a bed, which I still haven't done yet. Then we went back home when we introduced the two of them, but uh, no kissy kissy yet. Went upstairs, made a crystal bow, and was like, hey, this thing's pretty cool. I guess I'll test it in the next episode. Started off the next episode by showing off my berry garden, which has grown exponentially. Doesn't it, ah, isn't it just amazing? Look at all the raspberry bushes we have now. And we started off with just one. It's a miracle. Then I realized that, hey, we have a male chocobo and a female chocobo. We need a baby chocobo. Which means that I had to first go upstairs and get some loverly geysel, or geysel, or geysel, however you say it. Now, as it happens, that naturally occurs whenever you just grow geysel. And it took me a little while, believe it or not, this is not the first time that I tried to do this. I had to you know, pluck them and plant them and regrow them several times before I was actually able to get... Oh, there I am showing you how to uh, get seeds. Very, very useful. But then boom, I finally got one of them. Took a little bit longer, but I eventually got a second one. While waiting for the second one, I decided I would make some berry medley. Mm-mm, good. And then after making the berry medley, I sat out and got another chocobo. Why? Why not? I also went to the boat, attacked a pirate, found out that, you know, bows don't do much against heavily armored pirates, but they do pretty good against, uh, zombies. Oh, then I stormed the ship and almost died. But I didn't die, because apparently whenever I get into combat, the game crashes, I respawn, and get attacked by the same zombie I just killed earlier. Yeah, if this mod is designed around attacking things, I don't think it's quite living up to its reputation. You know, considering it crashes every time I attack something. Finally got another loverly guy cell. Thank heavens. Then I promptly moved downstairs, Ambrosia and Alfred were properly married, and they had a child nine months later, or, you know, five seconds, whatever. Then I went upstairs, took a good look around, and thought, hey, this episode turned out great. Then I got off, and the power crashed. And that brings us back to now, where I've actually done a little bit more besides just those things. I, I, built, a, I built this farm over here to grow wheat. That's right, so we can actually build some cool wheat things that we'll look at later on. Uh, this, this garden just takes up all of my- oh, hey, look! Ah, oh, fantastic. And we actually have enough- hold on, let me grab a book here. We'll go downstairs and check if any of our chocobos can be bred. We actually have a, a few more loverly, um, guy cells to look at. Oh, I created a full stack of arrows. And, uh, yeah, we, we can go outside and test our bow properly now. Oops, forgot where the- guys were being held at. Hey, how are y'all doing? So it looks like our, our little guy grew up. Where did he go? Which one is which? One of them is Brandon. Nah, here's Baby Birdie. And uh, Baby Birdie is a male and he can breed. Brandon is a male and he can breed. Ambrosia can breed. Okay, great. But uh, what about the other dad? Okay, wait, what? What? Ambrosia. Oh, <laughs> for some reason I thought, hmm, thought it said that he was a female. Let's go get some loverly guy cell. Oh, I agree completely. Let's see if we can get a another one because yeah, why not? You know, I mean, the more the the merrier. Let's see what happens if we get a different dad though. Um, let's go with Brandon this time. So Ambrosia and Brandon. Which one is what? You're, you're definitely Ambrosia. 
I think you might be Brandon. Yes, you're Brandon. Okay. Lots of feathers. So many feathers. Ah, we got another baby. Now, there's a way to breed different colored ones, but I have no idea how to go about doing that. So, let's just, uh... Oh, wait. Was that new one a uh, male or female? Hold on. Excuse me. Where's the little baby? Another male. Okay. Well, we seem to be... Seem to be getting a lot of males. Ambrosia remains the only female in the flock. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and let's let's grab. Um, what are we gonna do in this episode? I never really thought about what we we're gonna do this time around. I've done so much in the last two episodes. It was such good content. Uh, I can't believe it's all gone now. What are we? What am I gonna do? Where's the wheat? I have some wheat someplace, don't I? Do you guys see some wheat? Where did I put the wheat? There's the wheat. We got 13 wheat. So check this out. We can do this. Oh, it's just two. Okay, fantastic. And we can create these little straw thingies. All right. Now roll with me on this. You can create a pin for your, your your birdies, your little flock of birds. And so long as there's a roof and then the floor is covered in this stuff, they actually automatically heal themselves. I don't think we're actually going to have enough to cover the whole floor. Oh, gosh. Oh, Brandon. Hold still. Look at that, we actually do have enough. Okay, so, let's see. That should be healing him now. Heal! Heal, Brandon! Brandon isn't healing. Well, maybe I messed up. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I should hop back onto the wiki. Figure that out later. I say that this episode, we ought to just go adventuring. Because the last two episodes, which you guys will never see, because of the corrupted audio and my forgetfulness, uh, I did a lot of building, did a lot of cool stuff, I built this bow, and oh. And I kind of think that maybe, maybe we need to head off into the wilderness now. And explore a little bit. Those don't go in, though, do those, do the ch chocobo feathers don't go in there. Chocobo feathers go in here. Hmm. Let's grab some fruit medleys. Or some berry medleys, I should say. Mm. Some cooked pork chop. And I want to go out that direction and look at that. Remember that weird tower that we found with the glowstone on top? Let's go take a look at that. That might prove to be cool. You guys... Okay, Ambrosia. Stay. You guys need to chill. Okay? It's getting a bit ridiculous. What? Where's Brandon? Brandon has the saddle on. Where's Brandon? Brandon? Ow. Get out of my way. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're going to have to build a bigger... Oh no, the baby's getting away! The baby's getting away! Okay, calm down. It's okay. We've got this. Okay. We'll put him back in the pen later. He'll be fine down there. This is not animal cruelty. He's fine in the hole. He likes it in there. It's safer. Alright. Brandon, let's go on an adventure, buddy. Can you jump off of the edge and survive? I don't want to hurt you. Oh, wait. He's, he's very damaged. Hold on, Brandon. Let me get some. Let me get you some food, buddy. It's not like I don't have a plethora of this stuff. All right. And off the edge we shall soar, and into the wilderness to find some. Co oh, I know you're excited, aren't you? You're very excited. Let's get go. Oh, you know what? We need to make a chicken farm. That would have made making all these arrows a lot easier. Oh, totally, dude. Totally. I agree with you 100%. Hey, look. Cows. I was looking for those. What was that? Episode or two ago? When I built the book. I guess that wasn't in a video either, was it? <sighs> Sad day. Sheep. That's where I got the wool for the bed that I never built. Hey, we can do that in this episode, too. Fantastic. Finding all sorts of cool things we can do. Jump. So we've learned now that if we ever get involved in any sort of uh, combat situation, the game crashes. No idea why. It just does that. So until there's a patch, I don't think we'll be fighting any monsters. Unfortunately, that means we can't, you know, go into battle towers or anything cool like that. Ah, there it is. That weird pillar thing. Hey, wait. Why'd you stop? Oh, okay. That was odd. Oh, these ostriches aren't doing too hot, apparently. 
All right, we made it. Whoa, it's a sandstone one. All right, well, let's take, let's hop off real fast. Stay where you are. What is so special about this thing? Ah, aha. This seems like a surefire way for something bad to happen. Oh, should have saw that coming. In fact, I did sort of see that coming. Well, what are these? Meteors? Hey, okay. Can I mine them up or something? What do I do here? Basalt cobblestone? What? What's, where'd the basalt come from? All right, let's see. Let's get our dirt out. All right, I hope Brandon's okay up there by himself. Can I mine this stuff? I sure can. All right. Not of this world. Meteor chips. I wonder what we do with them. You guys know what to do with meteor chips? You guys know how to get out of here? I feel like we're trapped. Obsidian. Can I even mine obsidian with this pick? I'm not sure how it works. Oh, apparently I can. Great, there's lava out there. So let's... <laughs> the first thing we're going to do is obviously dig a hole to it. You know, I've been I've been meaning to go to the nether anyway. There's some stuff there we can use to build some other cool things. So we might as well gather all this uh, basalt that we can. There we go. Ten pieces ought to be enough to build a portal. And now I just got to figure out a way out of here. And I guess I could just build a noob tower straight up to the top. There's nothing else cool down here, is there, that I'm missing? Oh, wait. No. Just basalt. But I don't think there's anything interesting underneath the basalt except for more lava. Alrighty, then. To the surface we go. Whoa. Watch the heck. Whoa! Copper ore berries. What is this place? Wow. Stalactites and... Oh, whoa, what is that? Aluminum ore berry... What? What is going on here? Stand sandstone stalactite... Okay, hold on. What? Copper ore berry. Oh, I can take it with me. Well, guess what we're taking home with us? Oh, and some more bones. Fantastic. Yeah, if you don't want to kill uh, skeletons, you can just collect the... The bone ore, which is convenient, you know, because sometimes fighting skeleton skeletons can be a bit challenging, especially when you're horrible at it like I am. Redstone, eh, we could always use some more redstone, I guess. With all the tools we build, it's probably a useful thing to have. What else is down here? There we go. Ah! Aluminum ore, and then uh, where's the aluminum ore berry? Right there. I don't trust this lava. I'm kind of worried it's going to fall into that. We want to avoid that happening. Alright. Fantastic. And you know what? We might as well mine up the aluminum while we're down here. Though I'm not entirely sure what we do with aluminum in this mod. It's marble. Okay, what other cool things can we find? What? It's a mummy. It's a mummy and he climbs up things. People, the mummy can climb up things. Oh, what did he drop? He dropped something interesting. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh, it's just a zombie. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was terrifying. For a slight instance. We need to eat. Can we eat these? No, we can't eat them. I think I already tried that before. What? Just... What on earth? Okay, that was confusing. Very medley. Uh-huh. Okay, so what did he drop? Oh, emerald shards. I don't know what to do with emerald shards. They don't seem to have a use. Oh, what can we do with meteor chips? 
we can make a meteorite helmet or meteorite chest piece or pants or boots or tools um uh, not really sure what the best use for them is though or we can create a meteor meh a protected land tester huh a meteor shield oh wow there's a lot of cool stuff in here meteor timer uh wow okay you guys let me know what the best thing to do with our meteorite is and we'll we'll do it for reals we only got two chips though hmm too bad there's a lot of ore down here good grief there's a lot of ore there's probably a lot of dead things down here too though I want to be cautious I want to be ready copper again don't know what we're going to do in this mod with copper but I know one way we can find out uses copper ingot can be used to make reinforced copper chests could be put in a smeltery okay well not a whole lot of uses probably worth having though what is that? Tin? Okay. Gonna guess it's probably just as useful as copper. More diamonds? Diamonds aren't even a rarity anymore. You just find them in excess. Which is fine, don't get me wrong, I don't mind that. I reckon that ought to be enough cobble to get us up out of here. We see another cave system, and I think we gotta stop because that was a pretty nice little treasure trove of stuff. And stuff is always good, in my opinion, especially when you can use stuff to make other stuff. Yeah, another cave. I hear bats, and you know how useful bats are. They just add so much to the game. It's like a whole new experience when you walk in a cave, and instead of hearing dead silence, you hear bats. You know something good's about to happen. Like a bat flying out of the darkness to scare your face off. Hello, bat. Maybe bats drop something useful. Maybe not. Hmm. It was worth a try. Oh. Ooh, they're coming for me. They're up there and they're angry! He's angry! There's two of them! And they're both angry! Can I jump while shooting a bow and get the bonuses? Ah, uh, well. Not too bad. Lots of hearts. It's pretty good. Oh, hey. Oh, there's a spawner. That's why there's so many of them. Ain't no spawner no more. Some redstone, some enchanted books. Do we need enchanted books? Eh, it's kind of sad when you come. What do you use shiny baubles for? Apparently nothing. Hmm. We know where it is. We can come back for it if we need any of it. Ah, fantastic! Another aluminum berry bush. And that's all that's down here, folks. I repeat, that's all that's down here. What would really be nice is an iron berry bush, because I use a lot of iron, and the more iron, the better. Fantastic. I think it might just be dark outside. No? Wait? Oh, look at that. It's daylight. How do I get out of here? Oh, I should have done that in the beginning, and then I could just swam out. We'll flood the cave. Ugh. Can't really tell what time of the day it is. All right, Chocobo. Let's take a swing over this way and see if this tower crashes the client, which I'm almost certain it will. What? What am I looking at right now? People, is that a giraffe? I think this is a giraffe. We'll find out once the game is done freezing. <laughs> oh, wow. What is What is this? What is this? It's another weird thing that we can go fight in if we wanted to. That's a giraffe. It's a giraffe in a little village. Okay, we'll come back over here later. For right now, let's head home. You ever notice that all the really cool stuff isn't near where we're at? All the cool stuff is out over here. We should have gone over here at the beginning and set up a house. Well, I guess we do technically kind of have a house right over there. Whoa, what is that? Let me stop and take a look at this. It doesn't tell me what it is. 
Okay, I'm going to have to get rid of string, I guess. And then... <sighs> Sandstone. What is this? Oh, aloe vera. Sweet. What is this stuff? What? Eggs? String? The uh, Water droplets. Random. Random. What can we do with them? Nothing. What can we do with aloe vera? Nothing, apparently. Oh, well, that's okay. Well, onward. Let's head home and uh, take a look at all this cool stuff that we got. Huh. Weird. Ah. Get out of the trees, Brandon. Stay on the path. Ugh. Oh. Well, you'll never be a precision race car. Well, that's for sure. I really need to build a bigger area for you guys. All right. How's the baby? Is baby still over here? Oh, baby. I don't know how to get him out. Might just have to leave him in there. You need to get down from here. Ambrosia, get down. Go. How did... What? Is, mm. Strange stuff going on out there. All right, so let's see what we came home with. We got some basalt cobblestone, some water droplets, some meteor chips... We need to go plant that, and we need to go plant this downstairs and see what we get. We got some aluminum ore berries, some aloe vera, a lot of cool stuff to look at, and I'll tell you what we can do with it in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.